Hello everybody, it's me, Lunar, uh, back with a new video. I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, uh, some major things have been going on in my life lately. For those of you who haven't been keeping up with my community post or have no way of viewing community post, uh, last Thursday I was in a wreck on my moped. For those of you who don't know, I ride or rode a moped to work in other places because it was cheap, cheaper than a car. And uh, I will tell you guys, I I was completely safe. I had my jacket on, my helmet, my gloves, my boots, uh, long pants, uh, and a reflector vest on a bright wet red moped uh, at night. Uh, with all my lights on and as I was heading home from my mom's house a young 16 year old in an SUV pulled out in front of me I'll be honest with you uh, anyone who has ever rode a moped or motorcycle you know people pull out in front of mopeds and motorcycles that cut you off all the fucking time it is a consistent thing uh, so I let off the throttle I hit both of my brakes as well as my horn uh, she was about 100 feet away, and as I got to her being 10 feet from me, that's when I realized I'm not going to stop in time. And next thing I know, there was a loud crunching noise, and I was flat on my back in the middle of a four-way intersection with my bike a solid 10 feet away from me. Uh, and I'll tell you, it was... It was terrifying, but I got off extremely lucky. Uh, people ran to my aid, helped me and the bike off the uh, intersection, and we we wrecked in a lucky spot in front of a uh, Dollar General that caught it all on camera, showing she was at fault and that I had done everything in my power to not only make myself visible, but to avoid a collision. Uh, we were also right up the road from EMS Dispatch, meaning they got out there pretty quickly. All in all, I got lucky and had been able to slow down to 20 miles an hour, allowing me to only suffer a minor concussion and pulled muscles in my back. However, that doesn't make the experience any less terrifying, so... I want to give you all some advice before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's video. When you are driving any form of vehicle, uh, be it a car, truck, SUV, uh, big rig, you are driving the, a literal weapon. You are responsible not just for your own life, but for the life of those around you. You making a simple mistake can lead to people dying and I can't stress enough how important it is you double and triple check that you are 100% clear before crossing an intersection especially on a busy road like the one I was driving down if she would have double checked to make sure she was clear she would not have pulled out in front of me because she would have seen me coming so, to all of you who are driving, remember, you make a mistake, and it's not just you who will pay the price for it. It is whoever hits you, or whoever you hit. So, bear in mind, vehicles are weapons, whether you realize it or not. And you have to be responsible, and have to be aware of everything going on around you. If it hadn't been for my year of moped riding experience, or the fact that I had noticed her as fast as I did, I would have been way worse off because I would have slammed into her at 45 miles an hour, which probably would have not only done more serious damage to her car, but could have left me locked up in a hospital for weeks or months. So, please, please, everyone watching this video, take that into consideration when you sit into your car keep in mind there are those around you 
who aren't as big, who aren't as fast, who can't swerve out of the way if you cut them off. This being said, uh, that's about as serious as I wanted to get. I know seriousness isn't usually my thing, but I had to get that off my chest and stress it to you all. The rest of this video, I'm going to try and keep lighthearted though. Uh, with the holidays coming, in, coming on fast, I figured instead of my usual content, I will be uploading more laid back videos, more lenient unscripted videos that I just sort of record in a day. This being said, I've also made up a schedule for my videos and I will and if I manage to make a graphic of it, I will try and put it uh, on screen at the end of the video. Uh, but basically what I'm thinking of doing for the year 2022, is every week releasing a short video that doesn't require as much effort such as a for game review or a uh, just a general talk about my ideas such as the voracious ideas episodes uh, but I plan to once every four months which means three times a year release a bigger video that requires more time more effort my first big project I want to work on is a 100 days in Starbound episode, uh, which will take hours of recording, hours of editing, uh, lots of uh, s um, voice acting if I plan to do any. And so that video is in production, it's just taking some time because I gotta do note taking and video editing and recording and all of that. On to the topic of today's video, uh, I remember a while back, Forgetful Hitter, er, Forgetful Hitter, I, I can English, Forgetful Hatter had asked why I hadn't done a Fallout 4 video yet. The truth is, I have, um, it's just, it involves nudity because I don't know how to, you know, do censor edits yet. So, I had it uploaded to Pornhub, but when the scrub of Pornhub happened a few months back when uh, some credit card companies were dropping from their website, uh, it was deleted. It is currently available on my Patreon, and starting whenever I get around to doing it, probably the first, it will be available to everyone for free. I only ask that you do not re-upload that video on any site. I will be putting a watermark on it, and I can and will not hesitate to bring the copyright hammer down on you for stealing my intellectual property, as I worked hard on that video even though very few people have seen it. This being said, Fallout 4 is an iffy game to me. Uh, the mechanics are great. The combat is amazing. The mods are wonderful. Uh, I just have fun playing and building my base and uh, adding in my own personal touches into it and it's amazing. The problem is the story. I, I can't stress this enough. I fucking hate Fallout 4's main questline. It fucking sucks. The factions are watered down and stupid. It's really, really stupid. I I mean, the factions all have their unique roles to play. The Minutemen just want to bring peace to the Commonwealth by bringing the Commonwealth together. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel is arrogant and stupid. Um... The Institute wants to create technological wonders, and the Railroad wants to help free sense. And all of them, like, from a lore standpoint, make sense. All of them are fleshed out. Uh, one of them we've actually seen in previous games, that being the Brotherhood of Steel. The problem is, when you actually get into playing the main questline, parts of it are good. 
like the whole Nick Valentine section, I like it. Uh, it not only takes you through uh, rescuing this detective synth uh, who has this long time thing with Skinny Malone, but it also uh, gives your character a reason for doing what he's doing, the desire to find his son. My problem is, is that it's like, all right, here's the four, the four faction choices. Make your pick. And I find that stupid. I find that really stupid. I get that in some cases, some factions like the Minutemen and Railroad will get along. But factions like the Institute and the Brotherhood of Steel are going to hate each other. But I don't like the story. It seems too focused on, yeah, you're a badass, and less focused on, yeah, so here's the lore and the story and these interesting aspects that draw me into Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So, if I were to make the Fallout 4 Vor playthrough, uh, most of it would probably be focused on building a settlement and fiddling around with side quests and stuff like that. Uh, if any of you know some good mods that can add or fix some of the quests in the game, do feel free to let me know in the comments or hit me up on Discord. I would love to hear them from you. Now, something that's caught my eye that may cause me to get back into this is, I'm sure you all know a mod I use for Skyrim called Yiffy Age of Skyrim. Well... There is now a Yiffy Age of Fallout, which gives the choice between a bunch of different races, and I kind of want to try it out. So, I will definitely, definitely be taking the time to install it and see if it works with some of my other mods. And if it does, and I can get a patch for the Fallout 4.4 mod, then I might consider doing it. Now, another thing that is off-putting to me about the Fallout 4 Vor mod is the the cringy comments that your character makes. For those of you who don't know, in Fallout 4, your character is actually voice acted. And I don't like that they had to add these voiced lines into the Vor mod. Uh, to me, they are very... Very cringy. Very cringy. I mean, some of the sounds and stuff from development are cringy, but I'd rather have to read text on a screen of what is being said than hear my character make these really cringy voice lines. Uh, and I actively despise those voice lines. I'm... I'm believe there is a way to edit them out uh i believe hatter tried to walk me through it at one point but with everything that's happened i kind of forgot it so if you guys have a variation of the vor mod that has these lines removed or replaced with silent ones uh also let me know uh so will i make a fallout 4 vor series maybe Maybe. Uh, do I feel like Fallout 4 is a game I could sit down and play all the way through for a series? No, absolutely not. Uh, what Fallout 4 doesn't have that Skyrim does, in my mind, is a good story. Yes, in Skyrim, it's like, Oh my god, you're the Dragonborn! Holy crap! But to me... At least, for the most part, Skyrim has a stronger story. Yes, you are the Dragonborn, but you actively are trying to search for why the dragons are coming back and a way to stop them. Whereas, in Fallout 4, you're a badass because you're a badass. Uh, a lot of the story segments in Fallout 4 fall flat, a main one being Mama Murphy and her psychic visions. 
And, I mean, this is not to say that Skyrim doesn't have its issues either. Uh, a huge issue for me would be the quest where Delphine's like, Yeah, so, uh, you gotta go kill- You know that- You know that, uh, that good dragon Parthenax that, uh, has been helping you? Yeah, you gotta go kill him because, you know, he's a dragon and all dragons are the same. Uh... I'm just gonna say this right now, if you actually do that quest, you are a horrible person. Uh, anyways, I've been rambling enough. Uh, this, uh, video is probably going on for like 15 minutes or more. But, uh, if you guys want to see a Fallout 4 video from me, let me know. I will probably look into it once I, uh, start fiddling around with the FEH of Fallout mod. Anyways, uh, have a wonderful day, all of you, and remember, driving is responsibility.